I'm Joshua Farnsworth, and I am building a Rubo book stand, one uh, that Roy Underhill showed on one of his episodes a few years ago. And uh, I ran into a problem when trying to cut these little slots in here. He used something called a pad saw, uh, but I didn't have a pad saw. Uh, a pad saw looks like this. You can see it fits a little thin blade in here, uh, and it tightens in to a handle. I hope you can see it, but uh, since I didn't have one, I decided to take a hacksaw blade, like he uses a hacksaw blade in his, I cut it off and just took a, f a scrap of wood, so this is free for me, I cut off the, the blade there at a sharp angle and put a screw in there to hold it, and I had cut a little kerf here with my back saw most of the way through, but not all the way through, and uh, and I discovered that the fastest way to cut this is upward in a vise like this. So let me show you how this works. So I spent a couple hours on these first two <laughs> until I realized, uh, until I figured out the, the trick with just screwing this in and then putting it up on a bench like this because I tried it horizontally and the leverage just didn't work really well. So this is how, if you have, if you have a uh, slot you need to cut in the wood, this is, this is a, a great free way to do it. So I'd put it in and just pull it out, and I'm using the tip here to get towards the back. And you, you start off by drilling a little pilot hole here. I think I used a 16th inch bit. Uh, and then just put it in the top and pull down. And keep going until it exit, starts to exit through the other side. So you can see that it's poking through the other side now, and I can just go down to my line. So this uh, this whole took me about two or three minutes to do, where, whereas uh, the others, the, the first two, took about two hours to figure out. So I hope I've saved you some trouble and, and some money so you don't have to buy a pad saw. Uh, so thanks for watching. <laughs>